Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, so first of all, I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. I'm Warren C. I do general photography, pretty much like to use YouTube to enhance, learn videography using my Fujifilm gear. Um, I use Fujifilm mostly for my digital work. I also shoot 35 millimeter and 120 format film, use various cameras, and I also will use other cameras for digital too, depending on the situation. So, um, welcome to the channel. Hopefully you guys are liking what you see. Uh, and to everyone else that's already subscribed, thank you for the continued love. Thank you for the comments. Keep the comments going and definitely thank you for the likes. So with that, let's get into the video for today. And, you know, I haven't done this type of video, I think, at all for the channel. But most of you are probably wondering, and if you're not, I'm going to let you know anyway, why I shoot Fujifilm X-mount cameras. So first things first, the colors. It literally all started with the colors for me. Um, my wife picked up an X-T2 when it was released and we went out and shot a soccer game and I was just blown away with the colors. The greens, the reds, the, the yellows, the skin tones, just fell in love with it. At the time I was shooting Nikon and Panasonic, uh, so I was already shooting a crop sensor Nikon. I was shooting the Micro Four Thirds Panasonic, and I loved everything I got out of those cameras. I love the Panasonic for the speed at which it can shoot, and I, and I love the Nikon for the quality of the image and its colors. But the XT2 just blew me away, and I wound up picking one up myself, and from there it was pretty much history. Um, Going through the whole schema of XT variants, I even had an XT20 and so forth. So the colors just was that much more enticing to me and helped me create the type of images and content that I wanted to, uh, not only for my personal use, but also for my paid work. So wonderful colors, my favorite, not to say that other brands don't have great colors, it's just Fuji's number one for me. Um, the second thing that got me was the styling. Um, as I got into shooting the X-T2 and loving the way the camera felt, loving how small it was and portable it was, um, the button layout, uh, as I learned, learned more and more about the exposure triangle, I learned more and more about how much that styling mattered if you will i don't know if that's a little love but for some but you know how a camera feels in hand makes you want to shoot it more right how a camera feels in hand makes it more second nature um you learn the body you know here's an xh2s so you know there that is right there you learn the body and you start to get a um um, second nature feel for the camera and it becomes a part of you and it makes you want to shoot it more and more because it literally becomes a part of you and the XT line definitely did that for me at the start so um, I love the fact that I had the aperture ring on the lenses here's the, the 27 mil uh, f2 and you know I got the aperture lens on there and I love the fact that I can Literally, while the camera's off, you know, X Pro 3 here, while the camera's off, and those buttons right there, I can literally set this camera up the way I want and then start shooting. So that was another big win as I started to get into the Fujifilm X mount system and really started to en enhance my creative uh, flow because the camera was no longer in the way. Uh, you guys have heard me say that before. So colors one, the styling two, and number three, number three, most folks will, will have thought it would have been number two maybe, um, but you know, you fall in love with the body and then you fall in love with the glass. And I have to tell you guys, I love the Fuji glass. The, the glass is excellent. Whether it's a red badge lens or not, I've had an excellent experience with almost every lens I've had. Some, of course, I like better than others, but all in all, I've had an excellent experience with the glass. Sharp images, 
um, to the point where it made me forget I was shooting crop sensor. Again, the lenses, the glass did not get in my way. Now I will admit I do like the enhancements that have come on some of the newer glass, like the new 56 with its motor, um, autofocus motor that's in there, faster than the previous 56. I like that. The 90, which is one of my all time favorite lenses, especially when I'm doing event photography, um, has a linear motor in there and this thing is super quiet and, and it will get the job done in F2. So I love that. And then of course, the one that helped me out in a lot of sports events is the 100 to 400 here, which is a red badge lens. It's got a little extra sauce on it, I guess, because of that badge. And it's just, again, wonderful lenses that didn't quite add to the weight that I was getting from my Nikon crop sensor camera and it's glass that I use. So it kept the package small part of that styling. So those three things really got me into the system entrance and still have me really connected to the Fuji brand today. If you were to ask me what I would like to see coming from Fuji uh, in the future, uh, first things first, when it comes to the bodies of the X-Mouse, I love what they've done with starting to really delineate between the bodies on what type of photographer or videographer they're shooting for. I fell in love with the X-H line when the X-H1 came out because I honestly, I do miss the grip of the Nikon and, and this gave it back in, 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 in a, a, a serious way. I think when it comes to the rest of the bodies though, we might have too many. Um, I know in the rumor mill is talking about the XE might not be um, continued and honestly, as much as I'd hate to see that wonderful little camera line go, there are a lot of camera lines, but I give them Fuji their points. They make camera lines based on their photographer clients. The only camera missing in this line that I think that Fuji should focus on, and, I, and you're hearing me right, I'm saying four lines probably is great at this point, um, would be the camera I'm actually filming this talking headpiece with, which is the XS line. So I have the XS20 up and it's going right now. And I got the 18 to 120 power zoom lens on, which is more for video. And I actually have a filter on it. You guys let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about the quality of this image. So that's what I would like to see in the future is them really continue to define the lines, get rid of a couple of them and, and, and hone them down to uh, uh, the four that I would like to see. Um, now, if I have to give a, a high delighter type of line, yeah, bring the X-Pan line back. Um, a digital X-Pan, yeah, that would be nice. You guys probably know where I'm going with that. So when it comes to the glass, actually, there's not that much more that I think they need to do um, other than just continue to update some of the older version lenses, just like they did with the 56. Um, they didn't update the 35, they came out with the 33. Um, and then they, of course, updated the 27, which is pretty much, like I said, married to this camera for street photography. And I, I love the updates. I would like to see the 90 get an update, not just in the fact of just bringing out a new version and uh, with, with a faster, newer autofocus motor, be, but honestly, I'd love to see this go below or wider, I should say, than the F2. If I can get this in an F1.4 or 1.2, um, that would be phenomenal. I know it would get bigger, but it would pair nicely with the XH line and that grip. And it would be a stellar portrait lens as it already is a stellar portrait lens. So, um, and then on the zoom end of things, they, they pretty much got the zooms covered. Um, they have a lot of zooms, right? Um, but if I wanted to say you wanted to go after the event photographer, Go after the, a zoom comparable to Tamron's uh, 35 to 150. I think that it's an f2 to 2.8. That, that lens is phenomenal, and I'd love to see Fuji come out with something similar to that, or one of the third parties, um, where we have something like a 23 to 100. Yeah, and make that an f2. I know it would be bigger, but again, it's an all-in-one. F2 to F2.8, similar, or F2 to F4 would be great too. So um, there you go. That's what I would like to see 
if Fuji was to ask me on the lens side and on the camera side. Hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Fuji's X mount, why you shoot it for those that shoot it. Um, what do you feel are the, the, the great parts about their camera line and their lens line? What do you like to see? So have a good one guys. Enjoy the rest of the week and I'll see you guys on the next video, part two, where I tell you guys why I like the GFX line. Awesome. Later. <laughs>